Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to go through my very large stash of Christmas or winter related books. This is not including books that feature it, such as Seasons by Hannah Carlson, Romantic Country, which will have the odd scene in. These are purely ones that are going to be all about Christmas or all about winter. So let's get started. There's, they're in no order, they're all mixed up. Because <laughs> I'm just grabbing them off the shelves, but they're off ready. So this is um, Ava Brown's Secret Village Winter. This came out last month. As you can see, I've got it to PDF. It's really cute. You would have seen this in last month's haul. <coughs> I will try and do one in this over the next month or so. Um, just so that you know, you will be seeing books that I haven't hauled yet because they're all in this pile. But you'll see them again in the haul. Uh, then I've got the, uh, I think this was last year's, Relax with Art, sorry, uh, A Vintage Christmas, A Festive Colouring Journey. I've got a whip in here, as you can see, from last year, I haven't finished yet. So lots of just quick Christmas and winter related pictures. We will try and finish that one off because it's a nice easy one to do. I've got A Magical Christmas by Lizzie Mary Cullen. This is one of the new books that I said I haven't hauled yet, so I'm going to have a look at this. It's very busy, but I'm thinking some of them, glitter gel pens, pencils or water-based markers would be great. Yeah, I quite like that. It's the only one of her books, well, I actually quite like her books, but it's the only one I've got. Of course I have The Beauty of Horror Christmas. I've got her this one. I never did manage to colour in the Chris in the, the Halloween one, but I will certainly try and colour in one of these horror ones. I really love these um, Alan Robert books. I've got them all now. I just haven't got the tarot cards yet. Another small book I still haven't coloured in, but I've had it for yonks is Escape at Christmas Pass by Good Wives and Warriors, which is, of course, this is the story of Scrooge, Christmas Carol. I have got one mark that I wanted to do, which was this double page, and I still might try and do that. I'm probably gonna use a lot of glitter gel pens again. Um, I've got Chippy Girl's Christmas uh, by April Amber. I love it, oh, look at that. These are so cute. Obviously, if you want a full flip through of any of the books, if there isn't one already on the channel, just ooh, let me know and I'll do one. I've got Christmas Darlings by Kelly Horton. I've had this for a while as well. So I will definitely be colouring in this one this year. Because you know what? They're not that difficult to colour. They're quite easy. And, and they're nice. You can use markers or pencils. I've done both in these books and it works fine. They're all going to slide everywhere in a minute, so I'm going to have to put the ones I haven't coloured in on the floor. I've got Make Time For Yourself Colour Art Seasonal Collection. This came out last Christmas. So it's, it's mainly like wintry and patterns, snow globes, a cake. But it's seasonal. Lots of gel pens again, markers, it's single sided. This is one that sold in the supermarkets in the UK. I got this from Tesco. I'm going to go through them as quickly as I can because you've seen the most of them before and you'll be seeing some of them again. I've got Gingerbread Life Colouring Book. This is Colouring Book Cafe. It's not one of their best, um, but I do kind of like them. I haven't coloured in it, but this last Christmas. I kind of like that one where you've got the gingerbread ornaments as well. And that one of the train is really cute. So there's that one. I have had this one for a long time and I'm still scared to touch it, which is Ruth Sanderson, Santa's Christmas. I did start colouring one of the pictures from this in a, a, a episode, a, an episode, an issue of Colour in Heaven. And it was that one actually. It's just too too detailed. I'm, I might try and, and say do something like this one, which isn't too bad, I don't think. They are so nice. But I'm too scared. Now I've got another one here, this isn't Relax With Art, which is their normal magazine. Um, normally it's not all Christmas, this year's isn't all just Christmas, but 
this one from last year pretty much is so as you can see it's all Christmas and winter related I started and I haven't finished which is pretty much my kind of thing so Christmas special this is the one I started colouring that Ruth Sanderson picture in and I did I mean that's the only one I've started in this book I did start doing it and I did it with markers I thought, that's a nice one should have done that one instead I don't know why I started this one if I can get to it because it's and I just don't like the way it doesn't look so bad on camera so I might give it a, another go and put a bit of pencil over the top as well I might do but yeah so that was Karen Heaven Christmas special which issue was it? Does it say issue 29? Gosh, that was a long time ago. Put that in my whips. Uh, Jade Summer, Wonderful Christmas. I've got a whip in this. Again, I this isn't one. I only recently started this one, so it's not that long ago. And I'm doing this Christmas tree and the girl opening her presents. I haven't done anything else in it. Although there is another piece of paper in there for some reason. Not sure why. So that's uh, Wonderful Christmas. Uh, one of the new ones, one of the new ones, uh, Jade Summer Cute Christmas, I have already done one in here and I've got a whip which is this one, I like this, it's a really sweet book actually, you'll see uh, that the other side of that on my uh, finished pages but they're really nice, just been colouring them when I feel like it, I'll put that in my whips. Karen Heaven Christmas Special, this is this year's, issue 81, I've got a whip in here, <laughs> it's all whips, and I'm doing the Christmas, the, the Snow Beauty, which is this one, there's still a lot to go on it, but uh, yeah, I'll get on with that, I like this book, some simple ones, I, I always pick the most complicated pictures to do, <laughs> I will admit, I do, I pick the most complicated pictures to colour. We've got Christmas Colour by Number by Satch and Satch Deva. I love this. I've done a couple of this this month. I really like this. It's a nice, it's a smaller square book. And what I like about this is on here, it just gives you the colours that you need. doesn't give you the whole list. So, yeah. There's not many in this one, actually. This one is one you could possibly do quite quickly. But I do like that one. That's what we're in a different pile because it's got a complete page in it. Now I've got Easy Christmas Colouring Book. This again is Jade Summer. This is one of the ones that came out before all this brouhaha happened with the Amazon. Um, I actually got two of this because Jennifer wanted to copy. So I got her a copy as well. Uh, this is, I think this is Josh Dunbar. That Christmas Pud. And again, they're really cutesy pictures. I've done one as you can see. Really nice. I, I, I do like that. That's going to go in a separate pile again because that's going to go into the hold. <sighs> okay, I've got uh, Colour It, A Colourful Christmas. These are really expensive to get in the UK. But I do really like them. So they are absolutely fantastic. They're really thick cardstock. I think I've only done the, the first page or like this page. And it was all done with glue with gel pens. Um, but I really like them. Oh, and I did the, the this Christmas book belongs to page. <laughs> I love this book. I'm definitely going to do something in here. I say this every year and I never get around to doing half of them. But I really want to do some in this. Okay. Then uh, next few are from Ava Brown. So just bear with me while I sort them out. There is one more I haven't printed up with tears. Uh, Chibi Girls Christmas. But I'll be printing that out soon, uh, this weekend. So you'll be seeing it in my haul. But I haven't printed it out yet. So I can't show it to you in this. But it is it, it will be coloured in. Uh, Country Christmas. Now I am trying to colour in all, uh, all of the books I get every month. Now it's going to happen because I've bought far too many again this month. There's one downstairs as well that you're not going to see because I'm not going to... I don't even know where it is. It was downstairs, but Paul's tied it up, so I have no idea. Huh. I will find it. 
you'll see it in the haul when I find it anyway. So yeah, this one is um, Country Christmas, another nice one from Ava Brown. Then we've got, let me just get to the back of this one because there's quite a few Christmas ones. We've got Christmas Doodles. I like this one. So cute. Can't wait to colour one of these. It's not going to take long. Full of gel pens, uh, markers. I tend to use markers on these because it's, it's thicker paper. It's a thicker stock paper, but it is by, it's by Xerox, but it's a good quality paper. It's not like Xerox paper that you put in your photocopier <laughs> it's good thick paper um, and there's two more Ava Browns if I can get to it here we go um, I have done one in this one but it's it's actually in my fold in my clipboard at the moment which is Christmas scenes again I like this one it's really nice Okay, if you want to see me colour one of these, just let me know. I'm happy to colour in anything that you want. We are still doing Elvis. We will be filming that again potentially tomorrow. Last Eva Brown for now is Known for the Holidays. And I've done one in here as well, so ha <laughs> ha, hooray. But it's really nice. Next year if I do this, I'll have to take them out of their folder because they'll all be in a, fold, a, a, a ring binder. Yeah, again, it's a really cute. In fact, I did this one, but I did this as being covered with snow, so I didn't actually colour it in green. I just left it as white. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. I just pretended that the snow had fallen and settled everywhere. <laughs> this, I didn't realise it was the cover page. I have a Chibi Girls Christmas, which is Coco Wayo. This is the only Coco Wayo book I have. So and I actually really like it. So I'll probably get some more. I like the fact that some of them have got black paint backgrounds and some of them haven't. So you can colour it how you want. Don't have to worry about doing the skies. So that's that one. Oh, there's one missing and I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I have the Relax With Art Holiday Special. Of course I get those every year. I'm just going to go and change my battery. Okay, here we are, Christmas scenes. Uh, this is Relax Without Holiday Special, issue 42. So yeah, again, these are all different. You got the kids looking in the window at the presents, you got the trees, you got making Christmas cookies, the snowman. I love these because they always give you some old fashioned looking pictures. So some, you know, Victorian and vintage stuff. I really like, excuse the light. It's because the light's so far away and because I need to put the book somewhere. And that's that one. I'm just whacking them anywhere at the moment. It's ridiculous. Let me put that in the new pile. Uh, Karen Heaven Collection Christmas Traditions. Again, this is... There should be a pile of colour in heaven somewhere. I'm just checking. They're, they're not even here, so I have to find them. They are around. I've put them somewhere. <laughs> I'm hopeless, I told you. Christmas traditions. Anyway, back to this one. So this is the newest uh, one that's not part of the subscription. I have not even looked through this properly yet. But I like these sorts of ones. The presents, nice poinsettia. That, I really like that one. I might do that one. Granny. Yeah, uh, so it's all Christmas traditions, basically like putting the tree up, putting the bulbs on, which we haven't done yet. And it actually has they have titles like Pick Up or Pick or Dig Your Christmas Tree, Decorate Your Christmas Tree, Make a Christmas Pudding and Don't Forget to Hide a Silver Sixpence in it. If you want to flip through because I haven't done one, let me know. Right, um, we've got Jade Summer, Colour by Number Christmas. Again, this is just a colour by number patterns book. I have done a few in this book because I like it. I do like, I like the Jade Summer Colour by Numbers. They're nice and easy to do. So, yeah, I like that one. I got Santa's Little Christmas Colouring Book. This is Colouring Book Cafe. And this is a smaller one, so let's see, put it next to, uh, and even that's just quite a small one. Put it next to Winter Dreamlings. <laughs> and you can see it's quite small compared to some of the other books. Now this is on my complete pages shelf, so there should be one I've done in here. 
was it or was it not did I do yes I did I did sand if I remember this was just done with Crayola super tips um and it was just done for a bit of fun but yeah I actually like this one this one's a really good book hmm does it then we've got uh, Sherry Baldy, uh, My Besties, Santa's Little Helper colouring book. So again, this is a cute one. Done one in this somewhere. I haven't marked them out, obviously. So who knows? Could be anywhere. Did I do one in this or did I not? I thought I'd done one in this one. I'm sure that came off of my pages I've coloured in shelf. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh yes it did. I did this one. I think I did that one last year. She's so cute. Uh, then we have Winter Dreamlings. Edwina McNamee. Don't have all of the books. But I do like them. This one has had a page coloured in it. There it is. So it's done with various markers. Probably... I don't know, have a blend maybe. Oh, who, who, protect? No, more likely have a blend. It's also got some, um, I don't know, what's it called? Winker Stella on it, I think. I don't know. But it was fun. Uh, nice, simple, sweet ones. These ones, I like them. And one of the books I've actually done quite a few pages in, not many, but a few, is Johanna's Christmas. Yeah, I haven't coloured in it for a couple of years, so I must must try and do some this is where obviously I've done that one and this I think most of what I did in here has been done well this one was done with doing ink tents I like using those I love this book I must I really do want to do more in it I like what I love and that I mean some of them are so simple to do here's me saying I've done loads and yeah so far we've seen one I'm sure there is more I know there's more I'm sure there's one that was done with gel pens just the nutcrackers and then we've got a gingerbread house that was done with uh, ink tents as you can see it has gone through slightly but it doesn't matter because it's just on the back page where there isn't anything and it's got some stickles on it not a lot I think that's it so there's only three but for me that's actually oh and, and the title page apart from this bit which I will do with glitter gel pen at some point <laughs> I'm hopeless got a big stack of Jade Summer books now uh, for a bit um, so we've got Christmas Animals because as you know I'm a huge Jade Summer person there should be one done in this because it's on my uh, completed pages shelves and of course I'm not going to be able to, oh there it is, there it is, oh that's right I did the unicorn <laughs> and she's bright and that would have probably been with uh, Everblend because I only got the oh -hoo hoos earlier this year, love it, so cute uh, Christmas flowers is next again, very nice, I, I like that, look at that, little foxes Bell, Angel, and again, I did Santa. This looks like it was done with Sharpies and various other bits, potentially, or possibly um, shuttle arts. I don't really know anymore. <laughs> I've got so many markers, I have no idea. But that's Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hopeless. Then we've got Christmas mandalas. Again, I love mandalas. I mean, these one's got the little pictures in it. I like that one with Santa. So we'll try and do a few of these this month, I think, this this year. Um, I think I only got it last year anyway, and I've probably done the first one because I tend to do mandalas in order. Yes, look. Isn't that cute? Little gingerbread men. Yeah, I tend, do tend to do mandalas in order. I don't know if I will with this book. Uh, it depends. What's the next picture? Yeah, I'm quite happy to do that, Santa. If it's one I go, I'm not, I don't know, I might, might skip it, but I might not. Uh, Kawaii Christmas. These ones are the ones that came out last year. Um, obviously, Grayscale, which we all love. 
and I did that one. I think I did that. I did that one in July. I think uh, Christmas in July. I think I don't date them, but I'm pretty sure that was Christmas in July, and that was using a mixture of Oh Hoo Hoo, um, Touch New Skin Tones, and probably the Gurks or the what they call the Amazons and Slim Pencils. But again, I like this. If you want to see me colour in it, let me know. As well as. Christmas by Jade Summer. Of course we have to have that one as well. Now I'm pretty sure I coloured in this one last year. Oh look at that angel, she's gorgeous. I love them. I do. Oh, here we go. Yeah I did that one. Or oh, was it that one I did for Christmas in July? I'm not sure. I think I did that one at Christmas. I have no idea. There's just, I got so many books and I colour so many pages. I haven't done that any this month though. Um, the, I just lose track and I don't date them, I don't like to write on them because I, th I think eventually I'll be taking them out of the book and putting them into a folder and then giving Jennifer the second set to colour um, if I don't colour them myself. Uh, Christmas patterns, so another pattern book. Again, oh that, I like that one. Again, this will probably be one I'll do in order because I tend to do patterns and mandalas in order. Like I said, because then if you if you don't like one and you skip it, you'll never go back to it. I should do that with all books really, but nah. Um, yeah, it's a Dylan and Penguins. Um, it's all glitter gel pen. Um, yeah, it's all glitter gel pen, basically. Oh, well, I did the, the tree, which is a different gel pens. Not glitter, just glitter. There's also some normal green ones. I don't know. So we did two in that one. Ooh, that's good. That is unusual. I'm just trying to think where are oh, they here? Hmm. I'm just trying to think where I've put my rest of my colour in heaven ones. I'll have to find them in a minute. Cute Christmas again this is Jade Summer. You know how much I love a bit of Jade Summer. I will still be buying stuff off of Lulu because I love them. This one I finished, I started this last year and finished it this year because I just had, couldn't be bothered with it. I just don't like it very much. It's all right, but it's not my favorite picture I've ever done. Um, it is a cute little gingerbread man. <laughs> As I started doing it with metallics and then I didn't like that. So yeah, it's done. The main thing is it's finished. volume three because I've got all three of them and I've done a page in each so again these are just really oh nut, more nutcrackers they're really nice and now I'm using markers a lot more it doesn't take as long so if I really want to I can just sit there and I don't know which picture I've done in here but I have done I like the bells I've got a thing about bells I love bells let me see if I can find the one I've done there it is, and that's all it is, it's just a very simple Christmas wreath done with gel pens. Um, we've got some neon ones, we've got some glitter ones, some metallic ones, and just a plain green, dark green one. But yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that one. Be merry and bright. It's just a pattern, I might do that one in gel, glitter gel pens. If I can get around to it. Uh, Christmas volume two. Again, there's pictures and patterns in this, which is great. I love it when you've got a mixture of pictures and patterns. I have done this one, which is a pattern because I have a fair, I love the patterns in these books. But again, I love this one of the elves helping uh, making the toys in Santa's workshop. Always love ones of people putting things on trees. They're just, oh, look at that Santa reading his Letters, candles, always nice. Another pattern. <laughs> That's book two. And book one. We have this is this is a nice one as well. The, they were all really, really nice. Seasons greetings. Again, a mixture of pictures and patterns. And oh my god, we're on 24 minutes already. I did the puppy. And I used some pencils, but I can't remember which pencils I used. It was so long ago. And that one's actually when I dated them. This was back in 2017. Um, the 7th of the 12th, 2017, I did this one. So you can tell how long ago. That was four years. 
um, and it's got some stickles on it which is really nice. Is it the first one in the book? No. But that's okay. And that's that one. That's Jade Summer dealt with for now. No, that's all the Jade Summer, honest, honest. Um, I have one Creative Haven I have in Tangle Christmas which is Angela Porter. I have only done one page in this. I do like it. The patterns are really, really weird and I just like, the oh, and I did this one with gel pens. So we've got neons, we've got glitters, we've got metallics. We've got a bit of everything going on there, but it's all gel pen. I don't know if the sky was. I'm not sure about the sky. The sky might have been normal, like marker or like something. But yeah, again, I see, I love that angel. I might do that. I'm saying, oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> right, I've got a Whimsy Girls Christmas by Hannah Lynn. Of course I have. Now, I love Hannah Lynn. And these pictures always turn up in Colour in Heaven. And I'm thinking, I'm never going to want to do them three times. I've done two in this book, if I remember rightly. Which is, I want to do that one, actually. She's not wearing a lot, mind. Oh, she's a, she's a mermaid, isn't she? I like that. And there's a starfish as the star on I've never noticed that. That's gorgeous. But I have done two in this one because I remember the two I did. I know which two I did. So I did the skater girl. Um, no idea what pencils. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea whatsoever. Um, but I did that one and I enjoyed that. And I did the elf. And yeah, I enjoyed that one took a long time because that was over two Christmases. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've just got to go and find the rest of the colour in heaven ones. I do apologise. I won't be a sec. I found them. They were under my swatch charts. Don't ask me why. Excuse me, I'm a bit rubbish there. Uh, cutesy Christmas special. I think this was last year's, wasn't it? I'm supposed to be doing a buddy colour in this. I haven't even started it yet, so I do apologise, Molly. I will do it. I have done one in here and it's because I want to do it in watercolours because I love doing watercolours in these books. And I did I did this one. Where is it? Oh yeah, I did this one which was with um, gel pens which was the advent calendar. There is another advent calendar in here which I will be doing this year. Let me just check it's on the right set and it looked a bit dark. No, it is. Um, that one. And then there is another one which I want to do again because it's just one thing to do one one at one day. I love these. That's one of these I did. This I did the Santa the Mario Le Boudec one. I love this picture. It's one of my favourite ones. I, I love. I mean, it does crinkle the pages, but I just like the way the watercolours look. I'm supposed to be doing this one. As you can see, sorry Molly, I haven't started it. We did say December, and <laughs> you finished yours already. Uh, but I will be doing it. Uh, nice little Christmas, which is the collection, so this was um, extra, as well as the subscription, you had to go and buy this one. This is, oh gosh, Tatiana Bogema. Um, I have only done one in this one, Again. and this was the first year I had my subscription, and I actually coloured this after Christmas with the Faber-Castell gold faber pencils 24 set that came with the subscription and i really like the way it turned out and that's just just using those 24 pencils i didn't use any other pencils from any other sets it was literally just those and i really like i want to get those pencils out again because that just looks really nice i haven't used them since i have too many pencils and the new black widows are coming either sunday or monday uh christmas special issue 54 Five was this last year, I think. Again, was it the year before? Who knows? There's so many of them. It's the Charles and Tory ones I really like. Haven't coloured them though. The only one I coloured in here was Elena Lazareva's uh, Christmas stocking on a tree. I really like that. That's got uh, pebbles chalks as a background. I still do use those, guys. I, you don't see them that much today. It's all about the distressed inks these days. <laughs> the pan pastels, which I cannot afford. But the pebbles chalks, I do like to use them on the background. And that's that one. And the very last book I got um, is the Colour in Heaven collection. I think this was last year's. 
um, and it's elves behaving badly and it's quite interesting because Jennifer has got an elves book um, by the same people and it's got some of the same pictures in it which is really cool um, and she was colouring in it today so apart from the two I haven't shown you because I haven't printed the one out and the other one I'm not actually sure it's gone um, which is one of those um, patterns of the seasons books uh, that's, this is the last one that's all the Christmas books I've got I'm not going to say it's going to be all the Christmas books I'm going to get because I did that one, stuck in undies. And that's what I like about these. These can be as simple or as hard as you want. I did not do a background. And with most of these, unless there's a background drawn in, I probably wouldn't. Like, good, bad. Are they using coins? I think they're chocolate, chocolate sweets um and stuff like that you wouldn't you don't need to do a background if you don't want to a lot of them are side on i mean that's so simple are they so cute look at that anyway that is my current book collection of christmas books as it stands at the moment apart from the two the one i haven't printed off which is chibi christmas by ava brown and the one i've only just remembered i bought and i can't remember what it's called and I don't know where it is because I took it downstairs to colour in. I haven't seen it since. I wonder if I brought it up here. No, I don't think so. Anyway, if I will see you in the next video, which will probably be Elvis next. I've got to find somewhere to put all these books now before I go to bed because I can't leave them here because I'm working tomorrow. Because I'm filming this on Thursday the 25th. I've got work Friday the 26th. So I need my desk to put my computer on, my laptop. Uh, yeah, so I think it is a mess. I've got gel pens. I've got notepads. I've got painkillers for my sinuses. I've got markers. I've got spare batteries. These are the ones that actually need charging. I've got my glasses. I've got a jelly roll. I've got tubs of glitter. <laughs> I've got a makeup, a, a selfie mirror, a selfie lamp for my phone. A coaster, which I never use, <laughs> and a couple of pencil sharpeners and the remotes and one some tape, which I need for something else, so I don't want to lose that down the back. Anyway, I've waffled on enough. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> like I said, if you want me to colour in any of the books, let me know, and same as if you want me to do a flip through of any of them. If they're not already up on the channel, let me know, and I'll happily do that for you. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, everybody.